iPhone 10R versus Google Pixel 3 AXL speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick Care helping you to master your technology. Welcome to the iPhone 10R versus the just released Google Pixel 3 AXL speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three to one and I'm pretty excited about this one because Apple's kind of advertising the 10R at 449 actually you need to trade in an iPhone to get it so read the fine print but the Google Pixel 3 AXL is 479 outright you don't need to trade you can also trade for the Pixel 3 AXL and get it you know even cheaper so if you want to trade your old Pixel for example you can knock 200 bucks or so off and you can see that the Google Pixel 3 AXL just took the iPhone 10R to school on the boot up test okay so we're going to skip right past biometric because the Pixel 3 AXL has the fingerprint sensor on the rear and iPhone 10R relies on Face ID. Now, this does have Android Q beta already available, iOS 13 coming next month, but for this test, we're running Android 9 Pie stock out the box, which you get with the Pixel 3 AXL and iOS 12.2 right now, 13 is coming next month. You can see everything closed out here, everything closed out for the iPhone 10R. Let's begin with clock 3, 2, 1. And you can see the 10R significantly ahead there. Let's go into calculator, three, two, one, and 10R ahead there as well. So the Apple apps seem a little bit better here. Let's go into settings, and you can see there goes the iPhone 10R and App Store and Play Store. And you can see that the Play Store a little bit behind there. Now, remember, I could turn the animations down for the Pixel 3 AXL to keep up with that of the 10R. Let's go into Instagram, three, two, one, but everything for this video is stock. You see the Pixel 3, AXL there, but the 10R very smooth once in that application. Let's go into Twitter, three, two, one. And you can see Twitter is first there for the right, and there comes the iPhone 10R. What about Snapchat, three, two, one. And you can see Snapchat first for Pixel 3 AXL. Facebook, three, two, one. And Facebook pops open. It looks like it was first on the 3 AXL. If I missed that, let me know. It was really close. 10R caught up pretty good there. Let's go into Amazon, three, two, one. And you could see Amazon first. Ooh, that was close again. I think the 10R was getting it, but the Pixel 3 caught up. Let's go into Pixel 3 AXL, correct me. eBay, and you could see eBay first for the 3 A. XL over there on the right. Let's go into Best Buy, three, two, one. And you can see Best Buy has a little pop-up right here, but first here for the Pixel 3 AXL, let's go into Google News versus Apple News. And you can see right here, Apple News seemed a little quicker on that one. Although these are different apps, I wanted to compare them because they are competing apps on both platforms. Let's go into Subway Surfers, three, two, one. And you can see that Subway Surfers, this is where the 10R should pull ahead as it is a flagship phone, but Pixel 3 AXL, what's going on? Ooh, pretty close, but I do think the 10R had that one once again. And let's go into Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And you can see Temple Run 2 looks to be ahead there on the iPhone 10R. I'm trying to figure out which one has volume on. And you could see, yeah, the 10R is ahead, not by much but it is ahead. So I think when it comes to gaming, you still want to pick up the 10R of these two. However, this is pretty good for this mid-range processor that's in here. It's not bad at all. So I think that's the 10R with all that volume going on. Maybe it was the Pixel 3 AXL as well. Let me turn that down. And you could see that this load time on Fruit Ninja was first to the 10R. Once in the game, not a big difference. I mean, you're gonna play the games and you're gonna enjoy them. And actually, I found so far that the 10R just feels smoother in gaming. Let's go into Dead Trigger, three, two, one, and see what happens here for this game. And you can see the 10R jumps ahead again. Let's hit play. And let's see which one can load in first. And again, the 10R is in there first. So load times should be a little bit faster, but really what I noticed when actually playing the game is that the Google Pixel 3 AXL is not quite as smooth in gameplay. So if you want a smoother gameplay, the 10R will be the phone for you. Let's go to PUBG Mobile, three, two, one, and see which one can load this first. Now this requires a little more horsepower, so we should see if the 10R really does have that much more power. But I think that the Pixel 3 AXL for this price point is pretty impressive so far it's not looking like it's losing too much performance to a premier uh, processor like the one in the iphone 10r but you can see PUBG just blows away the pixel 3 axl we're almost in the match already here while we're still waiting 
on the Pixel 3a XL over there to still load. So yes, when it comes to more, you know, premier games, definitely the 10R is going to be the phone for you. You can see it right here. We're already in the match. Now the Pixel 3a XL catches up. And this can mean the difference between a lag in that game and, you know, not a lag in that game. Yeah, overall, you've seen from this first initial test that the 10R definitely showing that A12 being more powerful in games. Day-to-day um, -day stuff though, this is very acceptable performance and actually a little bit better than I expected for a 670 Snapdragon. Let's quickly run through the RAM management. Remember three gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of RAM here. Uh, Android typically needs a little more RAM than iOS does to you know load things up though. So we'll see if the Pixel 3 AXL can hold the apps at the same level of smooth that the iPhone 10R does. So pretty good. RAM management so far, it's almost like you don't even need more RAM than this, as the 10s and 10s Max has four. But this makes me think that did they, did they even need four gigabytes of RAM? Because the 10R just doing excellent right here and super silky smooth, stays the way it does since day one. Let's go into PUBG Mobile here. Pixel's got that one. This game right here had that one ready. Fruit Ninja, Oop, a little bit slow there, but still had it. Let's go into Temple Run. And let's go into Subway Surfers. That looks like a reload to me. Yes, that is a reload here for Subway Surfers. Four gigabytes of RAM, we get a reload there. What about the Google News? Best Buy. See, it's a little choppier, and there goes a reload again for eBay. A little choppier here on reloading for the Pixel 3a XL. Again, a reload. So the RAM management automatic loss here to the 3a XL, even with more RAM definitely cannot hold it the same way you're seeing you know just not as smooth there it goes again right there on snapchat and this was a problem with the pixel 3 when it first launched you can see instagram's good the play store is good settings calculator those look like a little bit of a reload as well so the ram management wasn't too impressive right here for the pixel 3 axl i'm calling the winner here and reloading your applications definitely to the iphone 10r that was a little bit disappointing considering it has more ram than this phone okay guys so i took the same 1080p 30 frames per second video on both of these and they're about 30 seconds long so let's go ahead and render these things out to see which one does get there first three two and one it's either going to be the iPhone or the Pixel series right here. Now, this phone right here, the iPhone XR, does have access to amazing programs like LumaFusion as well as iMovie for your phone. So if it's faster here for the Pixel 3 AXL, that just means in this particular application. But for here, you can see that not bad on the Pixel 3 AXL beats the XR in this application. But again, it doesn't have as many applications for video rendering that are like as polished on the Google side. So definitely, I think for video rendering, you still want the iPhone, but still respectable performance here with this mid-range processor. Okay, so here we are with the final Geekbench score. As you can see, wow, this is a laughably, wow, this is just a crush for the iPhone XR. But hey, slow down before you say, yep, what, that's what I expected. Good boy, XR. Remember, this phone is really not taking advantage of all that power, but what this power does give you is that ultra silky smooth performance day to day, that good RAM management that you've seen. Other than that though, this phone really doesn't do much but you know what iPhone's been doing forever, just a grid of icons and just open up your apps and stuff like that. It keeps it humming along really great. If the Google platform had this kind of power, I think it would take more advantage of it, but at the same time, you know what? These scores are mid-range right here, and uh, you wouldn't buy this phone for Premiere Processing. You would buy this phone because it has a better display than the 10R. You would buy this phone because it's cheaper than this device. Regardless if you can trade in your iPhone, this you can get outright for you know the same price as this would have trade in. Also, this guy right here, you can trade in and get this like in a $200 price point if you trade in an old smartphone. Uh, we'll compare these fully in the future, but I gotta say overall, the winner of this speed test is the Apple iPhone 10R. of course. I mean, you know it has the Premiere processor, but I think it was surprising to see that the Google Pixel 3a XL kept up as well as it did. It wasn't an absolute annihilation here for the 10R. The Pixel 3a XL looking like it's gonna be an extraordinary value in that $400 price range. If you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. If you guys want to see the full comparison between these two, where we show photo samples, we show, you know, we talk about everything that matters between these two and buying one, let me know. And uh, I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Nick helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.